Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Sutish and I am your trainer for Azure Data Fundamentals which is DP900 certification course. In this video, we are going to explore how to deploy non-relational data services in Azure. And in this lesson, we will learn about how to provision non-relational data services, configure non-relational data services, explore the basic connectivity issues and data security components. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. So let's learn about how to provision Cosmos DB. So before that, what is provisioning? Provisioning is the act of running a series of tasks that a service provider such as Azure Cosmos DB performs to create and configure a service. Behind the scenes, the service provider will set up the various resources like disk, memory, CPUs, network, and so on required to run this service. You will be assigned these resources and they remain allocated to you until you delete the service. So let me take you to the Azure portal and show you how you can provision a Cosmos DB. I'm on my Azure portal right now. You can search for Cosmos DB on the global search box or you can go to all services and click on databases or you can go to all services and you can search for Cosmos DB here as well and select the Cosmos DB. And you have an ability to pin or star this on your left hand navigation pane as well. So select the Cosmos DB. As you can see that I don't have a Cosmos DB at the moment. Click on add and create an Azure Cosmos DB. And we go through the same routine as well. Select the subscription, select an existing resource group or create a new resource group. Enter a account name. As with a Cosmos DB account, each storage account must have a unique name that hasn't already been used by someone else. Then select the location. I'm going to keep it best use itself. And we have performance tier. Under the capacity mode, we have a provision throughput and a serverless, which is under preview right now. Account type is where, where I can enable prediction or non-prediction. And we have an option to select geo-redundancy and multi-region rights as well. Under networking is where you can Enable connectivity to all network or a specific public endpoint or a private endpoint. I'm going to keep it to all network. You can define the backup policy here and set your encryption optional tag and go to review and create and hit on create to create your Azure Cosmos DB account. The next topic is learning how to provision data lake storage. It's important for us to understand that if you are provisioning a data lake storage, you must specify the appropriate configuration setting when you create the storage account. You can't configure data lake storage after the storage account has been set up. So make sure when you go to create your Azure storage account on the advanced tab of create storage account page in the data lake storage gen 2 section, select enabled for a hierarchical namespace option. So that concludes this lesson. In the next video, we're going to learn about managing non-relational data stores in Azure. So I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care.